1896, the Plessy v. Ferguson Supreme Court decision made Jim Crow racial segregation constitutional. Jazz music was a powerful voice of the colored population in the fight against these injustices. For example, Fables of Fathers by Charles Mingus denounced Arkansas Governor Orville Fathers who challenged the 1954 Brown v. Board of Education decision for integrated schools. Charlie Parker aided the civil rights movement with his music, including a song entitled, Now's the Time. Now's the Time was meant to serve as protest music. It was meant to send a clear-cut message about the civil rights situation, that now's the time for change in America. Now's the time for America to finally live up to the creed of the Constitution, that all men are created equal. Music started to to shed light on the civil rights movement, and people started to write songs that were meant to illuminate the problems that we had in America in the hopes of solving them. Martin Luther King Jr. said that jazz tells the stories of life's difficulties. This holds true in Billie Holiday's song called Strange Fruit, which raised awareness of the racist, abhorrent practice of lynching in the South. Southern trees bear a strange fruit. Strange fruit really epitomizes one of the most brutal aspects of American history. Strange fruit, in its haunting melody, speaks of bodies hanging from a poplar tree. And mobs of people would pack lunches and bring their children to come and watch this barbaric brutalization and killing of people. It was a really brutal time in American history. Only jazz is capable of portraying the rage of people living in the shadow of violence. John Coltrane wrote a song entitled Alabama in response to the Ku Klux Klan's 1963 church bombing in Birmingham, Alabama that killed four innocent black children. <laughs> Jazz was one of the most prevalent catalysts in advancing the civil rights movement. It developed with society as the nation entered a tumultuous period of change that established the values of equality in America. In the 60s, the genre embodied an essence of turbulence and protest. The Civil Rights Acts enabled the judiciary to finally eliminate Jim Crow discrimination. Jazz also laid the foundation for future strides for equality. Dr. King said, much of the power of our freedom movement has come from jazz music. In a particular struggle of the Negro in America, there is something akin to the universal struggle of the modern man. <laughs>